Israel's Defence Force has released another video claiming to show rockets hidden by Hamas under a little girl's bed. An IDF soldier lifts the mattress, revealing what he says is a pile of rockets stored by Hamas in a cavity underneath the bed. You can see it there. The video, which has been released on social media, reportedly filmed inside a home in the city of Beit Hanun. The IDF claims to have found more ammunition, explosive devices and weapons inside other parts of the house. And there are reports of another hospital in Gaza coming under attack from Israeli forces. The Palestinian Red Crescent Society claims one of the last remaining medical facilities still functioning, which is the Al Ali Baptist Hospital, has come under fire by Israeli tanks. Israel has not commented on the reports while it continues its operations at the main Al Shifa Hospital, where it claims to have gathered Hamas intelligence. Gaza's main harbour, now full of Israeli armour. This footage, filmed and released by the Israeli military, is more than a hint that this brutal five-week-long war is still in its earliest stages. On the ground, street-to-street -street battles continue, and beyond, news from Gaza City's hospitals is now truly grim. These are the last images we received a week ago from the Al Ali Baptist Hospital, filmed for us by Dr. Hassan Abu Sita. We managed to get him by phone today. Today has been absolutely catastrophic. We've shut the operating rooms in Al Ali Hospital, which was the only functioning uh, uh, hospital in Gaza City. There was the, the sh bombing and the shelling were so close to the hospital, literally in the areas adjacent uh, to the hospital. You have left the hospital now. And, and you are now in, in the central zone. And you've left, you've had to leave the wounded people in the hospital. We've had to leave the wounded people. There are hundreds of wounded there. And where humanitarian aid is clearly so desperately in need, instead, an information war. This uh, closet here. This was Israel's military spokesman touring the nearby Shifa hospital basement on Wednesday. Guns hidden behind an MRI machine, evidence of Hamas fighters, he says. But no sign yet of the command and control center they and the Americans insist is here. Hamas officials were quick with their response. He presents these weapons in an MRI scan room, then in storage, then all of them next to each other on the floor, to show that they found a lot of weapons. That's all the weapons that they showed in that hospital, and they claim this is the headquarters of the resistance. Those who can escape the northern hospitals mostly end up here, at Al-Aqsa Hospital in central Gaza. It is still functioning. The preparation here is for an amputation. The child, the sole survivor of a family, will now lose her legs. That is, if she makes it. Just a couple of miles away, we were with the Israeli military. We can only get into Gaza with them and only see what they want to show us. The people leaving, the humanitarian corridors, but we were not permitted to speak to people here. Hamas is actively, to this day, while I'm speaking to you, shooting rockets, even in this humanitarian corridor. But that doesn't give you the right. That doesn't give you the right. That doesn't give you the right. forces in a humanitarian corridor. But that doesn't give you the right to target civilian buildings. We, as the IDF, have said from the very beginning, when Hamas launched this entire massacre and are breaking every international law by what they're doing, we are targeting Hamas terrorists. Tonight, Gaza is in darkness. The phones and internet down, fuel out. The hospitals closing one by one with patients still inside.